Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS, improve your performance and get better quality of gaming in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that you have to go into settings. Now once you are here, go into the display section, then scroll all the way down until you find advanced display and over here set your refresh rate to the maximum refresh rate possible. Once it is done, select keep changes, go back to display and then scroll all the way down and go to graphics. Once you are here, go to browse and then go into the install location of Warzone 2.0. Then you will find cod.exe over here. Simply click on add. Once it is added, go to options and then select high performance and then hit save. Then search for game mode. Make sure that game mode is enabled. This will optimize your PC by turning the apps being utilized in the background. Then go to windows update section. Then go to advanced options. Go to delivery optimization and make sure to turn off allow downloads from other PCs. Once it is done, close your settings and let's move to step number two, that is NVIDIA control panel settings. Make sure that if you have an AMD graphics card, you follow the similar settings for it. Right click on any empty area of your desktop, go to show more options and then select NVIDIA control panel. Go to adjust image settings with preview and then use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings. Copy all of the same settings that I have applied over here. Once you've applied all of these settings, go to adjust video color settings. Select with NVIDIA settings and then go to advanced dynamic range. Most of you will have it set to limited, go with full. Once it is done, you can close the NVIDIA control panel settings. Step number three is system configuration. Simply search for system configuration, then go to boot section, go to advanced options, select the number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available on your computer. Then click on OK. Then click on Apply. Step number four is the adjust appearance for Windows. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Select adjust for best performance. Then click on show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Then simply click on apply. Just by doing this step, you can see significant changes and improvements in your computer. Step number five is exit lag. Exit lag will help you in most of the cases for fixing all of your internet and FPS issues. You can go to this link in the description below, click on get exit lag and get exit lag for three days free. Once you have installed and opened exit lag up, make sure that exit lag is running. Click on this button until it's red. Then you will find a list over here. Search for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2.0. Click on it for the game region. Select the region near you. These are automatic selection. But if you know your region, you can scroll all the way down. For Asia, you can go to Dubai 01 or you can go to Singapore 01. For me, I'll go to Singapore 01. That will give you the lowest estimated ping over here. Simply click on apply and then Warzone 2.0 will be added. The best part of this application is the tools section. Over here, go to FPS boost, enable the first, third, fourth and second last option. Then close exit lag. In most cases, this will fix all of your internet and FPS issues by its own. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you have to get a subscription for it. The quality of performance you are getting is far more than the price you are paying. So I highly suggest you guys to get exit lag for your computer. Step number six is create a restore point. And to do that, simply search for create a restore point. Once you are in system protection, choose your local disk C or any drive it says system. Then click on create, name it Warzone 2.0 and then click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because in case anything goes wrong on your computer, you can always restore everything back to normal. Step number seven is downloading the FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Simply download and open this thing up and you will find in four folders. First one is the registry optimization and you will find in a few files over here. You have to simply right click and show more options and merge all of these files in your computer. If the merge option is not showing on your computer, you can simply double click and run it. If you are curious about what these files are changing, you can simply right click, go to show more options and click on edit, click on run and see what are the things that it is going to change on your computer. Once again, all of these files are useful. Make sure to run all of them 
Then there is low to mid-end and mid to high-end optimization. If you have a computer with lower graphics card, use low to mid-end optimization. If you have a high-end graphics card, you can use mid to high optimization. If you are confused about what you want to choose, you can leave your GPU in the comments below and I'm going to reply with the optimization that you need to use. Once again, if you are unsatisfied with all of these optimization, I've always left the default registry in here. You can re-enable and reset all of those back to normal. Then going to the second folder, which is the power option. In here, you will find the ultimate power plan. You can simply copy this string over here, search for CMD, and then run this as administrator. Then simply control V and paste this code over here and press enter. I've already done it for myself, so I'm not gonna do that. Once it is done, open up the control panel, then search for power options. Once you are here, select the ultimate performance power plan as this will utilize more energy on your computer but give you much better performance. But once again, if you are on laptop, I highly recommend you guys to keep it balanced to save your battery on your laptop. Then go into the third folder which is the RAM optimization folder and I have left a lot of presets in here. Simply select the RAM you are using on your computer and if you don't know about it, simply search for system information and over here, see the installed physical memory on your computer. For me, it is 16 GB, so I have a 16 GB RAM registry over here. You can select whatever RAM you have from this list. Once you are done, go back to the fourth folder which is the MSI Utility V3. You can simply right click and run this as administrator or else you will get an error. But once you're over here, you're looking for your graphics card. For me, it is right here. You have to go and from interpriety, from undefined, go to high and then click on apply. And that is going to use your graphics card more efficiently. Then simply close it and then close the FPS pack. And now it's time to drop in game for the in-game optimization. Once you're in game, go to settings and over here, go to graphics. Once you are in graphics, go to display and display mode, choose full screen exclusive. Display monitor should be your primary monitor. Display adapter should by default be your graphics card. If you, in case you are using a laptop, you will have an option to choose between your integrated graphics and your GPU. So I highly recommend you guys to choose your GPU. Refresh rate, make sure to set it the highest. Display resolution should be your base resolution. But if you want more FPS, you can always downgrade your resolution over here aspect ratio should be automatic vsync should be turned off in menus once again turn off custom frame rate limit you don't have to set it but if you want you can set it to custom and you can set all of those limits over here then you have your display gamma i highly recommend you guys go with 2.2 srgb and then for the hdr it is a personal preference now go to the quality section and then quality preset set it to minimum and you will see a drastic reduce in your memory consumption you always need to know that your estimated vram usage is low for upscaling and sharpening if you have an intel integrated gpu you can use zest if you have an nvidia gpu you can go with dlss but dlss is kind of heavy so you can go with a cheaper alternative that is the N nvidia image scaling or if you have an amd cpu you can go with fsr and all of these will perform much better then for anti-aliasing go with smaa anti-aliasing quality you can go with normal or high then video memory scale now this is depending upon your computer i always recommend you guys to keep it at 90 but if you are recording or streaming you can lower this down this will degrade the quality of your gameplay but you will get a lag free recording but if you're not recording you're just playing it casually then you can set it to 90 and that will give you the better quality now all of these will be automatically set to low and off scroll all the way down and make sure that everything is turned off once it is done you can simply click on apply settings and voila here we are in the game now you can drop into game and get a better gaming experience. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.